On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, duplicate slides in ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com Screencast Show. This is the show where every week I help you with some of the software that we use here in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to join the conversation, leave your comments, etc. So just do that below the video. You can always head over to my blog, by the way, TrinityDigitalMedia.com, and there you can get access to all my shows, not only this one, but my show on video, my show on using the internet and the web, and the show where I just answer your questions. So head on over there and do that. So this topic came to light because someone was asking, well, I normally do a transition between my slides, but I've noticed when I have two slides that have exactly the same text, I can't see any transition whatsoever. I'm using a dissolve. Looks like nothing's happening when in fact something is. So how can I help those in the congregation know, hey, let's sing that again. So never to fear, I have come up with some uh, strategies. Okay, I didn't come up with these. I've just noticed them. One of them occurred to me, but I'm sure other people have thought of it too. So let's over, head over to my computer and we'll take a look at that. This is a question I think plagues a lot of churches and that is what do you do when lyrics repeat? So there's actually a few different strategies and I thought that we go through this. We're in Angels We Have Heard on High which as you recall has this section with Gloria Enix Chelsea's Deo and that repeats twice. So the question is, you know, if you've got, if you normally display four lines of text, you can totally do that. But let's pretend that it's four lines that are repeating if that's what you do, or it's something where it really just doesn't make sense to put all the repeats on a single slide. So how can you deal with this because as you can tell when I click back and forth there's no visual indication up on the screen that anything has changed. Now first off the easiest thing you can do is you can trust the congregation to know look if it doesn't change we're singing it again. Some churches do that that's what my church does perfectly acceptable. Uh, there are a couple of other things you can do here. Let's do a quick edit and instead of just having it like this in parentheses we'll put 2x. Pretty straightforward um, and that will absolutely work. I don't know why it's not letting me get out of here but that would work. Another possibility is you could, again, in parentheses, try repeat. That would work as well. So that those are the two possibilities that come to mind initially. Uh, you could, of course, make these... Uh, That was a mistake. Um, you can put these in um, italics or make it bold or a different color, something to indicate that they don't sing Gloria in excelsis Deo repeat. It's three o'clock. You know, that, that would be bad. So you could do something like that. One of the other uh, things that I've seen people do here, let me go to a quick edit on this. Huh, this particular version must have a glitch in it because it doesn't seem to want to do it. 
Um, another thing that you could do is, and this is kind of a little bit of a cheat, but it will absolutely indicate what's going on. Add an additional space at the beginning. So when people do like this and then this, you notice how the Gloria moved. So if instead of the cut transition, which I have down here, if I had a cross dissolve, by moving these just a hair, it would be a more obvious visual indication, okay, we're doing it again. So those are a few of the strategies of how you can do it. Of course, the worship leader can sing, say, let's sing that again, or one more time, or whatever that person tends to say. But those are just a a couple of strategies of dealing with repeat lyrics, um, not only in ProPresenter, but in all worship software. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you're thinking, oh, that's totally something that I'll do and it'll help the congregation know when we're actually singing and when we're uh, just keeping something up a little longer before we go into a musical interlude or something like that. If you like this content, you'd probably like my email newsletter, so head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. There you can pick up a free church tech gift of your choosing, along with a subscription to my email newsletter, where I tell you all the great stuff that's happening here at trinitydigitalmedia.com. And I also uh, give you more church tech tips and tricks. I might have said that already, but bears repeating. Also head over to my store where you can pick up a subscription first month free to Church Tech U. That's C-H-U-R-C-H-T-E-C-H-U dot com. The store is located at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store. You can get it there or you can go to churchtechu.com and that is the community where I have all my resources um, and I'm adding new ones all the time. It's where there are, we're forming a community to have discussions, uh, make comments, questions, etc. about church tech. And that's where I'm going to be hanging out primarily. So if you want to interact with me, not that I'm all that special because, I mean, you know, if you ask my mother, she thinks I'm special. But other than that, uh, then that's the way to do it. And the price is very, very inexpensive right now as we're just kicking this thing off. Already have some members, and I'm excited to welcome you in if you're willing to join us. First month's free, by the way. So until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Thank you.